So what's going on guys, it's JMSV Boxing, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on 20 of my videos, also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel, so former WBC Cruiserweight Champion Tony Bell you say he's, that he is open and that he wishes one of his former opponents and the last man to defeat him, Adonis Stevenson would move up to Cruiserweight so him and Adonis Stevenson could have a rematch, so he could try and avenge his loss to Adonis Stevenson. Tony Bell, you fought Adonis Stevenson in 2013 for the WBC light heavyweight title. It was actually Tony Bell, you's last fight at light heavyweight. And Tony Bell, you was stopped in six rounds in a fight, which was kind of competitive for the first couple of rounds. But then Adonis Stevenson started landing the more harder shots and the more painful shots on Tony Bell, you started put, to put it on Tony Bell, you a little bit. Tony Bellew managed to bust on Stevenson's nose in the third or fourth round in that fight. And I think he dropped Adonis Stevenson in the fourth round, but the referee ruled it as a slip. And then Adonis Stevenson, again, was just coming with a harder, more effective shot. And he managed to get to Tony Bellew with a hard body shot and followed it up with a shot to the head that knocked him down. And then Tony Bellew got up, but he was badly hurt. And... Stevenson backed him up in the corner and landed a barrage of shots and the referee stopped the fight. And since then, Tony Bellew's gone on a nine-fight win streak at Cruiserweight, picking up the WBC Cruiserweight title. In his last fight, he fought um, David Hay at heavyweight and we all know what happened in that fight. Pretty cagey fight until David Hay hurt his Achilles and basically fought the rest of the fight on one leg and Tony Bellew stopped him in 11 rounds. So yeah, Tony Bellew saying that he'd come back down to Cruiserweight for that fight. To quote Tony Bellew, he, or he says that I wish Stevenson would come to Cruiserweight. I would love that fight. Would I go back down to that division for a revenge fight with Stevenson? Without a doubt. I actually think Adonis Stevenson has gone slightly backwards since I fought him in 2014. Beating Chad Dawson to claim the WBC light heavyweight belt a few months earlier was an amazing victory. But I'm probably the best name on his record since then. Stevenson was on a great roll beating Dawson, Tavares Cloud and me. But after that, he faced nobody after nobody. He's still a brilliant fighter, but you're only as good as the opponent you are facing. He's not wanted to take any kind of risk. But he knows he's getting older now, so probably wants to cash out. The winner of Andre Ward and Sergei Kovalev is the big money fight. I think Stevenson wins by KO against Fonfara. There are too many miles on the clock for Fonfara, and his best opportunity was last time when Stevenson underestimated him. So, Tony Bell, you're saying that he's willing to come back down to £200 to face the Donna Stevenson, but yeah. I don't see Adonis Stevenson going up to Cruiserweight. I don't know why he would. Tony Bowie wasn't really got a title or anything like that unless Adonis Stevenson just wanted the money. But Adonis Stevenson holds the only title that's not in the big unification fight between Andre Wall and Sergei Kovalev. He holds the WBC and the Ring Magazine light heavyweight titles. Technically, Adonis Stevenson is the lineal light heavyweight champion, so he's technically the number one in the division, but... To be honest, the winner of Ward and Kovalev will be the number one, so I think the winner of that fight should fight Adonis Stevenson. But Adonis Stevenson just hasn't really took any risks, like Tony Bell who said. He's four guys like Tommy Kapensky and Thomas William Jr. and Sakio Biko. Like, they're good opponents, but they're not the kind of caliber opponents people were expecting Adonis Stevenson to fight, especially when they wanted him to fight guys like Sergei Kovalev and or to the Baturbiev and Andre Ward even, but Adonis Stevenson's just been fighting in Canada, fighting every 10 months or so, getting paid probably big money and then coming back a year later, but at 39 years old, Adonis Stevenson has gone slightly backwards in his career, like, he has declined a little bit, Adonis Stevenson, he's getting hit a lot more in fights now, and Tony Bellew has avenged a loss before in his career, he lost to Nathan Cleverly on points in his first heavyweight title fight, not heavyweight title fight, first light heavyweight title fight, but he was only had about 16 fights back then, and then he managed to avenge it in the rematch with Nathan Cleverly, he had a bit of a heated rivalry with Nathan Cleverly, and they fought on pay-per-view, which was an absolute fucking stinker, like, <laughs> it still hurts me inside the fact that I bought that pay-per-view, like, I hope Eddie Hearn bought himself a lovely Chinese with my fourteen ninety five because for fuck's sake that fight was awful. Like it was a complete shit fight, but Tony Bell you managed to win by split decision. It was just that was a bad fight, but anyway, 
let's not talk about my heartache about that fight. So, yeah, Tony Bell, you're saying that he'd fight Stevenson at cruiserweight. Well, I don't see Stevenson at 39 years old putting on two stone and going up to cruiserweight. Stevenson isn't even the biggest like heavyweight. Like he's only small in size. Um, Adonis Stevenson. He's only what five foot seven. Don't get me wrong. He hits very hard. But I think if he didn't hit very hard, I think he would have been beaten a while ago. Adonis Stevenson. He's got a massive left hand, and I think that's his equaliser in many and many of his fights. And he's not even the biggest light heavyweight. Like I said, he used to be a super middleweight. Adonis Stevenson. He was actually mandatory. For Carl Frotch's IBF super middleweight title at one point, but Carl Frotch was just dismiss was just dismissing him, saying that he was a nobody and that he'd knock him out. But at the end of the day, we all know that wasn't a dangerous fight for Carl Frotch. But yeah, this is just my opinion on this. Comment below your opinion. You think Adonis Stevenson should move up to fight Tony Bellew? Because people still mock Tony Bellew with that. Defeat, like, even with Tony Bellew doing all these things, like beating David Hay and winning the world title, people still say, oh, but you got knocked out by that midget Adonis Stevenson, oh, it's like, it must bug Tony Bellew a little bit when he reads that, because he did avenge his loss to Nathan Cleverley, so he wants to avenge the loss against um, Stevenson now, like, we all know Lennox Lewis did it, he lost twice, he lost to Oliver McCall and to Hasim Rachman, but he managed to avenge both of them losses. So that's kind of what Tony Bell he wants to do here. So yeah, comment below in the comment section. It's JM. It is speed boxing.